How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. Um, so, we are beginning Series 13. Um, a new series, a new rule set on the uh, online ladder. Uh, and so, for anyone who's not aware, the rules for Series 13 are... Um, everything's allowed. Um, you can use restricted Pokémon, you can use mythicals. Everything is fair game, and you can use any number of any of them. So, in theory, you could run, like, Calyrex, Kyogre, Rayquaza, McGinn, a Zero, or a... a Groudon. I don't know if I would say Groudon. Um, but yeah, but, okay. My point being, you can run any six, basically. It's a free-for-all. Um, so it's still very early meta. Um, it seems like Magina is kind of silly in this format. Uh, Eveltal is pretty good, because um, you can afford to run a sort of Eveltal without taking up a restricted slot. Um, I think a lot of restricteds do uh, get better or get more useful due to a lack of opportunity cost, certainly. Um, um, but yeah, Magina I think is the big mythical so far that's been making a splash. Um, Magina's ability Soul Heart is kind of crazy. Uh, whenever any Pokémon on the field faints for any reason, uh, it could be your own partner, it could be either of the opposing Pokémon, it doesn't have to be Magina that knocks them out, it gets a special attack boost. So it's like, it's like Beast Boost, but dialed up to 11, basically, it's crazy. Um, yeah, so Magina can very easily run away with games. Um, and the key, um, the key interaction on this team is we just possibly begin uh, next to Riolu. Um, so Riolu here has a, a moveset of Final Gambit, Earthquake, Copycat, and Detect. Um, so it detects to get around like fake outs and stuff. Um, Earthquake, Cyproc policy on Magina, pretty handy. Um, Copycat lets you set up for the, um, Max God, uh, Copycat play, if ever you want to do that, set up Trick Room. Um, that's an option you have. Basically, the way that interaction works is Copycat, when used directly after a max move, uh, will use the move the max move is based off of. So if you Dynamax on Magina and go for a, a max guard, um, Riolu then sees, okay, that max guard is based off of Trick Room. It clicks Copycat, it sets up Trick Room with priority, um, which is nice. Um, and then Final Gambit is a move that uh, your Pokemon faints, and it deals damage to a, po uh, to a target Pokemon equal to the amount of remaining HP on your Final Gambit Pokemon. So, uh, for example, if Riolu had 80 HP left and it used Final Gambit, it would faint and it would deal 80, HP, uh, 80 damage to something else. Um, but what that does is it lets you get a free switch into one of your back-end Pokemon, and also it gives beginner a soul heart boost, because Riolu faints. Um, so that's kind of the key parry to look out for here. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty standard-looking team. Um, you've got a, a well, a fast-ish mode uh, with like potentially um, you've got max airstream on a Veltal. Um, obviously, Kyo is a good um, good max target if you want to do that. Calyrex is good for a fast mode just because of its its natural speed. Calyrex is also running Trick Room as well, so you can kind of bluff um, a fast mode and run Trick Room there. And then Amoogus is just a good good Trick Room sweeper, uh, not sweeper, good Trick Room support mon. So other than the, um, the Riolo, it's all relatively standard, but I'm interested to see how this plays out. Um, I should mention also, mention also this team was built by um, 2017 world champion Ryota Otsubo. Um, so I trust that it's probably going to be quite good, um, or at least usable. If there are any issues uh, that come up, it's probably my fault. <laughs> Yeah, uh, with that said, let's uh, let's jump into some games. Okay, for our first battle of the day, and our first battle of Series uh, 13, we're up against a Series 12 team. Um, <laughs> this is just like bog standard Series um, series 12 stuff. Um, can I do the Rioli Magina stuff? I'm a little worried about the Landorus, is the big thing. I could maybe go for a Moongus and Magina. Seems a decent move. Um, gives me a potential spore option, um, which is handy. Yeah, I unfortunately, I don't think this is a Riolu game. Um, just because they've got they've got Fake Out and Rillaboom, but they've just like they've got Lambo, which can probably one shot Magina. Um, well, certainly if I don't if I don't max, they can one shot Magina. It's like a ah mm, uh, mate. Mm. I guess Wind's Taunt's also kind of annoying. Um, hmm. I'll start bringing to this. Um, I think I like Calyrex here. And it's either a Veltal or Kyogre. I think a Veltal's probably slightly better in this matchup. Just because of the existence of 
an opposing Kyogre and also a Rillaboom. Like, Rillaboom's kind of annoying for this team. Yeah, I'll go with this. I'm gonna hard commit into the slow front end. If it's like Taunt Whims, I need to be wary of that, potentially. Um, so if they can't redirect that with a move, there's not any really fake out on this team to stop it. Um, and they lead. I'm just on the oh, okay, I could have just gone for the Riolo stuff. Oh well. Um, Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for a Spore and thumb onto Thunder, and we're going to go for a TR. Um, if they have Taunt on Whims, then they stop my trick from going up, but I get a Spore on their Max, potentially. Uh, yep, they do Max. Um, I guess they could be Goggles Thunder on this comp. I feel it's more likely to be Life Orb, though. Um, I feel like these teams normally run Life Orb more than, uh, more than Goggles. We'll see. They do have Taunt, okay. That's fine, like I said, I'm, I'm content to just say, okay, well, I'm just gonna put your Sunday to sleep now. Yeah, screw into my Cobra. As long as they are not Goggles, I think this is a good, honestly, even if they are Goggles, I think this is kind of fine. Okay, yeah, screen Boost, yeah. Okay. Should we Life Orb chip? Nope, they're, oh, they're not Goggles. Are they Lum? Okay, they're Lum. That makes sense. Um, not TR, unfortunately. Um, I feel like they want an Airstream to kill KO my Amoongus here, right? So I can just probably stall out some max turns. Um, I think I, do, I can just Steel Spike here, right? Stop trying to pick up KOs. Uh, not pick up KOs. Uh, Stop trying to pick up um, some boosts. Oh, actually, what I could do is I could deliberately sack my. No, I'll sack a Moongus next turn, I think. Um... My thinking is basically if I can um, get Calyrex into position without Wimscott on the field, I can maybe set up a trick with that. Um, and use that to go crazy with Magiana. Okay. Big Magiana. Magus protects. It's probably Sash Whimsy. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't Sash Whimsy. Oh, they just set Tailwind? I guess they don't need Storm if they go for an airstream. That makes sense. Mystery doesn't quite kill me, that's fine. Oh, it's not Sash. Oh, okay. That works for me. Hold, okay. So I get defense boost, I get my soul hot boost with um mag here. Ooh, this is potentially bad for a, like a Kyogre back end. This could be annoying. I do have T-Bolt. Yeah, I think plus one lightning will take our Kyogre, right? I see Zation come out. That's interesting. Uh, not what I expected. But I think I'm fine with that. Um, I mean, I'm just going to spore here and say, look, if you're going to, if you're going to leave my Moongus alone and try and double, double into my beginner, which doesn't really make any sense to start with, um, then something gets put to sleep. Okay, the lightning my Moongus, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I mean, I spawned into their Thunder, so the, the electric train couldn't impact me there. Um... And now you give me a lovely, lovely boost. I am now at plus two. Soul Heart is broken. 
Beam of play. This is into plus one defense as well. I I feel like this doesn't do very much. So look. Unless they crit me. Very cool. That wasn't a crit. Oh, I forgot it's neutral, not resisted. Oops. That's fine, they did. <laughs> now McGinder is at plus three. Um, for some reason I had in my brain that that was a resisted hit, which is stupid, because it very clearly isn't. Um, um, I think I have to bring in Calyrex here, right? Because if I bring in Eveltal, they just go for Lightning, into, or they go for Wild Charge into Eveltal and Spout, and they double KO me, and I lose. So I think I have to go for this guy. Oh, it's Riddler is that last. Oh, that changes things. Um... Okay, I now have Protect on McGinn, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm still maxed. Oh, never mind, this is fine. I win. Um, <laughs> I could Protect here, or I could just press TR. And press TR, and I'm just going to Starfall into the... Uh, the Riddler. That way I don't get duped by like a fly from Thunderous or something. Um, wild Charge. That did zero. Okay. Horsepower. No, it's kills. Yeah. Not even remotely close. And I get my policy. I'm now at plus five? I want to say? Starfall. This KOs. Not even close. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a Dow Soul Heart puts me up to plus six. I'm just natural sure this for the thumbnail. Um, the Soul Heart puts me to plus six, if I'm tracking this correctly. And I'll get my Dracon. Dude, Beginner is a silly Pokemon. Beginner is a very silly Pokemon. Yeah, plus six. Cool. We did it. <laughs> Took a total of one match to get a plus six Magina. Yeah, I mean, now just Barrage and Gleam. Did Magina t yeah, Magina literally just one-shot everything on this team. I mean, if if the battle hadn't been cancelled there, that Gleam one-shots somebody as well. Yeah, because Wind went down to one Steel Spike. Uh, Zation went down to one Steel Spike. Uh, Riddle went down to one... Um, what's it called? Um, Starfall. And then Sunday goes down to that Gleam. That's hilarious. Dude, Beginner is silly. Uh, yes, ultimate tier. Okay, I've done some laddering with another team I was using um, that I built, but I built it without any knowledge of what the format was going to look like, um, and so it wasn't actually very good. So I didn't do particularly well with it. But this team, this team gets me to Master Ball, I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh. hmm. Yeah, Beginner is a very silly Pokemon. Um, I would say I don't think this format is going to be particularly good. Um, it might be funny, uh, but I don't think it's going to be particularly good. Um, certainly not competitive. I think there's been a, a number of kind of opinions expressed by people who have played this format a lot more than me that it's not amazing. But we'll try and make it fun. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I think most tournaments at the moment are happening. Um, like all the kind of victory road tournaments are happening. Spike Myth Cup format, which is no max, no restricteds, which is pretty fun. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. This is the worst case. I don't know how to play the mirror. 
Um. Oh no, I can't believe other people are using this team. How could they? Um. Do I just go for mag strats? I could Eveltal for Snot? No, because then they just go for a big, a big old Nagir and I get flattened. I could go Ogre actually. Ogre seems decent there. If they need anything other than Calyrex, I'm in a good spot. If I lead Ogre, but they also might lead Ogre. Can I lead Ogre Evel? That thing? Or like Ogre Amoongus? No, I need a way to get through their Amoongus if they lead Amoongus. So I can go Ogre Eveltal potentially. Or like Ogre Mag and go for Starfall. Also works, I guess, maybe? Mm. Oak plus Mag and Starfall seems decent. Hmm. I think I do this. Hmm. Okay, well, I will be honest. I have not prepared for the mirror match. Um. I do not know what I'm doing. And this is my second game with the team. Ugh, I mean, there's Rax stats. Ah! That's kind of okay, actually. I don't think I can stop my things from snoozing is the issue. Um, yeah, I'm Thunder, so I can't stop Eveltal going to sleep. I think I just press Spout here. Uh, the question is, do I owe it? Oh, I don't think Owen's doing enough to the um, Amoongus, is it? Do I just snarl? I do kind of want to pop the berry. Snarl covers switch is better, though. Like if Calorus wants to switch out of this position, I think I'm I can catch like a beginner with a minus well. Okay, there's protection, that's fine. Um it's not. Ah, okay. So I should have gone for the O in there, but whatever. Uh get spout off. Oh, here we go. Oh, Oblivion Ring might have killed there, actually. Oh, okay, it was crit. That was not reliable in the slightest. Spore into... Oh, they don't spawn my Eveltal? Oh. That's fine. Um, I don't know if Snarl picks up from there, but I'm just going to go for... I mean, I guess I just spout here. It doesn't really matter. Um, does Snarl pick up? I can't tell. I can just throw in. Maybe safer. They're going for Trick Room. Oh, I give them the free mag switch in here. Yeah, because I can't KO the Calyrex, that's safe. Um, getting rid of Moogus here is nice, but yeah, I give them a free switch into mag, which is potentially a problem. Moogus leaps. Um, this does not mean that they're... Um... Yeah, the McGinn is in a not great position. Uh, sorry, the Calyrex Rather is in a not great position. Um, hmm, let's be Magina. Yeah. A sleeping Ogre. Hmm. Actually, do I stay in with this guy? I think I tank a hit, right? I should tank one hit from the beginning without his policy proc. So I'm just gonna go for a snarl. Try and slow the uh, slow the hemorrhaging. <laughs> the other thing I had there was to maybe go for darkness into um, into Calorix could have been good. I don't know if I want to just like throw my max away. <laughs> Stuff we up. 
So a one turn wake up on Ogre here would be unbelievably good. Well, it's going to express how great that would be. Nope. <laughs> RP. Uh, I guess not off. Bonk. Big number of racks, yeah. No snarl, okay, that's fine. I thought they wanted to snarl me there. Um, okay, what I can do here, I think, is I go protect and I switch into a Moongus. Because I basically don't want to give him a free... Um, I don't want to give him a free Soul Heart boost um, on their mag here. So, like, in that situation, ordinarily, I'd be more than happy to just sack my Veltal in exchange for the Calyrex. Okay, I wake up and get Protect. Um, stuff again, it's fine. So I could have just gone for a Spout, but whatever. Hit Barrage again, fine. I think they want to steal spike my Amoongus here. Because I don't think... I think they're, they're scared of... Um, of Rage Powder. So I'm just going to do this. I'm pretty sure steal spike also won't kill. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna boost up my... Um, my Ogre. Give it a little bit more water spout damage. They just go max lightning. Okay. Uh, I don't do a huge amount, that's fine. I'm surprised they went for that, I'll be honest. Okay. We will now drop their Calyrex. That's okay, damage on mag. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um. Oh, they get the Soul Heart boost for their Calyrex dying. I forgot that that's how that mechanic works. I hate this. This Pokemon. Oh, I forgot they get a soul heart boost for their partner going down. This game sucks. Who's this? They're an ogre. Cool. I love speed ties. Um, this is big ogre, right? I think this is always big ogre. Actually, a large. Do I knock out the Gina or do I knock out the ogre? This is the last no TR, right? Yeah. So I'm going to knock out the... Okay. Because then I have to begin the next turn. I'm just going to rage better. Um... Do I even knock out the ogre here? Maybe I don't. Maybe this is a very bad move. Things if I don't... <sighs> If I don't knock out the ogre, they're not doing that much damage to me, I don't think. Certainly not to my ogre at the very least. Um, rage powder. Just don't protect your Kyogre, would be lovely. Okay, yeah, they're just flash cannon. I shouldn't do too much. Never mind, they don't win more than I thought it would. Okay, I win the speed types, I'm a good player. And. Kabang. Doesn't kill. Thunder kill there? It does not. Amoongus is based. Um, okay. Based on what? Ha ah, um. I don't really want Mag getting a soul heart boost here. I'm just going guys in the mag, I think. Um, go Rage Powder. Win another speed tie, because I'm a genius. Maggie's dead. Cool. And then they thunder again. Bonk. Okay, I die. 
Fine, I've got one more turn of max. Um, I still have a Veltal as well. I forgot to have a Veltal. How fast is a Veltal? Are you fast? We're relatively fast. Faster than Modest Ogre, and I'm pretty sure. Well, I can check my own Kyogre speed. Oh, this is max defense Ogre. Interesting. Okay, I'm faster than Ogre. That's why I'm just bringing this guy. I'm, I'll be honest, I completely forgot I still had a Veltal in the back. Um, Oh, my opponent rage quit. Very cool. Love to see it. <laughs> Upset about losing two consecutive. I don't think either of those speed ties actually mattered though, because like they weren't hitting my Kyogre with anything. Um, yeah, no, neither of the neither rows made any difference. Um, um, okay. Uh, yeah, team feels team feels pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get to show off the Rio at all. Because um, neither of the matchups really. Gave it much like the first one, Taunt Wimscott just completely shuts it down. Um, and then, yeah, a second match in the mirror, I don't think Riolu is the play. Um, just because you've got to be scared of so much stuff, and obviously, you can't set off your own again without setting off their again. And Trickman doesn't really benefit either player more than the other, so it's it's yeah, not great for that. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, for our first episode of uh, series 13 goodness. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did, please do leave a like on the video. Uh, sub to the channel if you have not already, and uh, go from a Twitch link to that is in the description. Uh, and that is all from me. See you next time. Bye bye.